Hi, everybody. This is uh, Dr. Michael Vasky here at the Parker Walmart Vision Center in Parker, Colorado. And one of the things that uh, gets asked to me of is to describe the condition of glaucoma. Sometimes we hear of different things happening uh, or is uh, family members may have this disease, but they just don't know what it is. So what glaucoma is, it refers to a category of eye disorders associated with the buildup of internal eye pressure, also known as interocular eye pressure. And if that is too much elevated, it can damage the eye's optic nerve that transmits the um, visual information to the brain. With untreated glaucoma, you might eventually notice a decreased ability to see the edges of your vision. Uh, it's also known as your peripheral vision. And then, uh, which goes unnoticed. So, in fact, some of this glaucoma is called the silent defa sight. And what that does is it slowly progresses with no outward symptoms, there's no pain, and uh, there's no vision loss. And because everybody notices the central vision more so than we do our peripheral vision. For this reason, the glaucoma often progresses undetected until the optic nerve already has been damaged with varying degrees of vision loss. The one other type of glaucoma is called acute angle closure glaucoma. These symptoms uh, actually, you can get symptoms that occur suddenly in which you get sudden vision loss, blur around lights, and very high eye pain. You can even start to feel uh, or get nauseous and vomit with this. So when this is brought on, you usually are an emergency case. So you usually go to the emergency room or you come and see myself or another type of eye care provider. So what do we do about glaucoma and how do we diagnose it? So what we do during the eye exam is we do screenings. We need to check your interocular pressure. So there's a couple of different ways that we check your eye pressure. One is we take uh, numbing drops and then we put a small probe gently on the surface of your eye. And then that also detects the eye pressure. One other way to detect the eye pressure is we do a uh, little puff of air to the eyes. Uh, and that's what a lot of people almost dread is the little puff of air. And what we're going to detect is the amount of fluid uh, that is building up inside the eye. So typically there's a range between 10 and 20 and so that if that falls in within those ranges we do we don't have to do further testing. But once we get over there 20 then there's a red flag that goes up and so what we need to do is do more testing. If we get over 30 then our risk of glaucoma gets even higher. So now we need to see if or what we need to do to uh, get this pressure down. And most times the treatment that uh, we use to get the eye pressure down is eye drops. And the more popular drops, uh, the ones that work really well, are drops that work on um, the drainage uh, valves that make the pressure go up or down. And those drops are really nice to use because you only have to use them once a day and uh, use them at night to lower the pressure. Very small side effects with those versus some of the newer eye drops of, for glaucoma. Uh, <clears throat> so now one other way that we help determine if you are uh, or if you have glaucoma is a visual field test. And visual field testing yeah, involves a couple of different ways. Uh, one is we use a uh, uh, visual field tester, uh, which helps helps to um, detect any uh, faulty uh, neurons affecting the uh, side of the vision or your peripheral vision. So one it, one visual field testing is you, is you put your head in a bowl and there's little lights that go off and you are visual tested. Uh, your visual field is tested that way. Another way is to detect uh, visual field loss is these little shimmeries of lights. Um, it's called a frequency doubling test. 
So those are the two main way, ways to test your visual field test or visual field um, function. Another way to um, make sure that the eye is working properly or another way to diagnose glaucoma is we do a um, measurement of the uh, uh, measuring the structures that make the uh, fluid uh, drain throughout your eyes and that test is called the gonioscopy and that's a, a test that we put um, a little microscope on your eye and that helps to look at all the small structures that help uh, cause the drainage of your eye and so um, one of the ways that we're going to uh, test your eyes is uh, with visual field testing and we're going to do a gonioscopy. Uh, another way that we uh, use or detect glaucoma is we actually measure the thickness of your cornea. Uh, we have found there's been a lot of tests going out that if your corneas are too thick or too thin you get some very faulty readings kind of like false positives so that we can help um, manage your uh, eye pressure. Sometimes if the eye pressures have been elevated for so long, then we have to do all these little tests and we found out that your actual corneal pressure or corneal thickness was too high or too thick, then uh, your eye pressures were reading too high. And vice versa, if your eye thickness or corneal thickness was too low, then um, you have a uh, different type of reading. So, um, so there's different ways that we can help determine if you have glaucoma. So it's a very, um, let's say, tedious way of detecting if you have glaucoma, but uh, tests necessary to uh, make sure that you are gla have glaucoma or you do not have glaucoma. Uh, one of the things that we'll ask during the testing is if there's any family members that have glaucoma. Sometimes uh, we've heard of grandparents uh, that got uh, thought they had glaucoma, but they actually had cataracts. So that's one way that so we have to make sure that it's not genetic in nature. So that's a little bit overview of about what glaucoma is. So it's a very important test that we have to do on an annual basis and because it's, uh, it's no outward symptoms with glaucoma and so that's really tough to uh, uh, manage because um, people say, oh my eyes feel good because you can have very good vision uh, and also still glaucoma. So it's a test that we should do annually even for uh, children because uh, there is some cases of uh, infantile glaucoma uh, or genetic uh, nature glaucoma. So I uh, hope that helps with your um, uh, questions about glaucoma and if you have any more questions give us a call at the phone number below or check us on the web at the address below and so we will uh, see you on the other side. Thank you.